Okay guys, welcome back to another quick tutorial with me, Dr. Octobeard. Today I'm going to show you how to create this light flickering effect in Unity. So let's get stuck in. So what I've got here in Unity is a solar generator that I've downloaded and I've put different materials on. And I'm going to get back to this in a second, but in order to illustrate what we're talking about here, the easiest thing is if we do it in isolation. So what I've got here, quite simply, is I've got a cube that I've flattened out into a wall, and I've put a wall material on it, brick material here, and then I've created this sphere. And all I've done with the sphere is I've put a green emissive material on it. So to do this, you go right-click, you create a material, and then you check the emission box here, and you change the color, and in this case, I'm gonna make it the exact same color as this here. So now I've got this emissive material on my object, I can add the script that's going to make it flicker up and down. So a little while back I did a tutorial where I looked at a light flickering effect and I was using a piece of open source coding by Steve Streeting that can be found at this web address link in the description. And what this does is it makes the light flicker on and off and as you can see here from the variable light you actually need to put it on a light. However whilst that made the light flicker on and off it didn't make the light bulb or in this case the fluorescent strip flicker on and off. So what I've done here is I've created a script that will do that. So if we dig into the script we can see what's going on here. I've got two variables in here. The first one is a material flicker mat, that's what's going to control the material and the second one is a public flow number wang. That's going to control how often it flickers and flashes on and off. At the start of the game I'm going to go and get the component for flicker mat which is a renderer for the material. Which material? The same material that is on whatever object this script is on. And then in void update I'm going to set number wang as a random range between 0 as a float and 1 as a float. The F for float is quite important because it's going to need it for the calculation down here. Don't need debug log number wang, that's left over from testing. Finally, this is the bit that does the heavy lifting. If number wang is ever greater than or equal to 0.3 as a float, then it will set the emission color, and this is how you access the emission variable with a script, it will set the emission color to green, bright, brilliant, bilious primary green. Otherwise, if it's anything other than that, then it will set it to black. And if you want to control how fast it flickers, this is the bit that you change. So if we just test this quickly, up against the wall here, I can see that it's flickering and flashing on and off quite a lot. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's off more than it's on, and that's not really what I'm looking for. So if I go back in and maybe set it to 0.75, most of the time it will be on, but it will just flicker off 25% like of the time. So you'll see for this test I've just put it up against this blank wall here. And one of the things that might be useful to do, you can see I've got a point light in here, it might be useful to use that flickering script to make the light flash and flare up against the wall. So you can see I've put that light flicker script here, I'm just going to enable it, and we'll turn it on and see what happens. So now you can see that the material, the bulb in this case, has got the light flashing on and off, but also there's light flashing onto the wall behind. Now these two are not flashing in sync, because the way this script controls the flicker and the way this script controls the light fade are quite different. But what you can do, if you go into the smoothing variable and increase it slightly, you can find something that you're fairly happy with. I'm going to drop that down a little bit, maybe to 12. And by and large, that's something that I'm fairly happy with. So if I go back into my example from earlier on here, you can see I've got this generator. I've just found which of these different bits is the fluorescent strip. I've attached the flicker mat script. What I might do as well is just create a quick spotlight, flashing up from the ground maybe, to give it that kind of dynamic look. And then put the light flicker effect onto that light and just sign the light in there. The smoothing I found last time was 12. Let's see what it looks like. So there we go. We've got that lovely flickering effect flashing on and off. We've got a little bit of the light coming in down here. Might not be quite intense enough for this scene. If we use the maximum intensity, then we'll see a little bit more of the light flickering on and off down there. This wonderful bloom effect, in case you're wondering, is something that's produced with a post-processing package that I cover in a different tutorial, and the link for that is also in the description. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial on how to make lights flicker in Unity.